Almost every small town has one, a restaurant with comfort food on the menu that feels like it's part of the town itself. In Brigus, it's E&E Drive-In. Lately, if you want to place an order, you've had to line up early. Settle in for today. Yeah, we got our lo lunch. We got our lunch. <laughs> oh, but you did, aren't you getting a lunch from the takeout? Uh, we, yes. We're in hopes we're going to get a lunch. <laughs> well, actually, we're here for lunch for our children, not for ourselves. Yes. Oh, well. Children live away and need less feed. So you guys are going to get this today and put it in the freezer? We yes. Are. Yeah. I've taken a vacuum seal to various parts of Canada over the span of our lifetime anyway. Yes, myself so too. <laughs> in your freezer is only a little junk, yeah. like right yes. here. But even with all that love and loyalty from their customers, the family behind the business has made the painful decision to close shop. It's hard to believe that uh, we got to shut down a, a business that actually works. It's not a business that's failing, it's a business that actually works. We're not closing because we're not, you know, slow or there's no business. It's quite the opposite. We're closing because we're always busy and we got no staff to run it with us. Brothers Tony and Ernest Green have worked in this kitchen since they were boys. Their parents opened E&E Drive-In just six months after Ernest Jr. was born. We kept the same recipes, we used the same shortening for 54 years, the same gravy for 54 years, the same spices for 54 years. Believe you me, it was a lot of tasks, a lot of hard times to keep the same things for 54 years, but we done it. But after all those years working in, then running the family business, the brothers have found themselves working harder and longer than ever. Past few years, we live here 12, 14 hours a day, every single day. Just no one applies for work anymore. I've had job, like help on is always in the windows and on the big sign. It was on all the job lines and all like this and no one was applying. Now we do have an odd young kid, but we're looking for like the adult that's going to work there full time and, and you know, and we like to have someone that wants to take on a bit of responsibility and, and stuff like that, but that seems to be gone now. Instead, it's another generation of Greens pitching in to keep things going. Kirsten Green, Ernest's daughter, has spent most of her life here too. Always, my whole life, since I've been little, coming out and helping, wanting to come out and help since I've been little. Oh, I had people crying, saying that we're closing. It's been, a lot of people's getting a lot very emotional about it and like, I'm glad they are because it shows us like, how dedicated a customer they are. So like, it's, it's a bit emotional. We founded this uh, drive in 1968, me and my wife. We started this when, we're, when I was 23. It's certainly emotional for the man who started it all, Ernest Green Sr. I never thought in my lifetime that I would see that you had a business in Newfoundland and you could, couldn't get no one to work. Yeah, it's a bit sad, you know, but uh, you have to accept the times, right? You, the times will come where it's more difficult to get, to get people in the service industry. I don't, we're not the only one having this problem, I don't think, you know. And the boys are up around 50 now, and myself, I'm 78. I'm not coming back at it, that's for sure. People in the Brigus area are losing something too, more than just a place to pick up fried chicken. I used to come here as a child, and like for the uh, banana splits. And then as I got older, I got into the chicken and the french fries, then I graduated <laughs> to onion rings. People who come here from anywhere, Everyone says, oh yeah, go stop to E&E. &E. It's one of the best places here. It's one of the places that everyone comes to. We're best to eat chicken around the bay. It's a part of their families and it's a part of like who they are. I mean, we've had people for the first dates and we've had people come on their wedding day. Many's the limousine hauled in and the, and the, you know, the bride and groom get out and get an onion ring and a milkshake and, and gone again. When the last orders are bagged up and the milkshake machines shut down, Three generations of the Green family will walk out of this place and close the book on a story 54 years long. Tony and Ernest know what they want that last page to say. Thank you. Thank you for all the loyal customers right across Canada. Thanks for being there and thanks for who you are. Zach Gowdy, CBC News, Brigus.